We are beginning tonight with groundbreaking in Fort Ord, where the construction of the Veterans Cemetery is now underway, all after nearly 25 years in the making. Action News reporter Caitlin Conrad was at the ceremony. She talked to people who have worked for over two decades now to give veterans a final resting place. She's live in Monterey. Caitlin? Dan, more than two decades ago, the community here on the Monterey Bay decided its veterans needed a final resting place on the central coast. Today, their diligence in making the Veterans Cemetery a priority has paid off. The sounds of shovels turning over fresh dirt mark the start of a project that many say has been too long in the making. This is so humbling today. To, to lift that shovel and turn dirt at the spot where it's all down we're going to be for the second century. It was awesome. Jack Stewart is the only surviving member of a group of veterans who started working to bring a veteran cemetery to Fort Ord more than 20 years ago. The groundbreaking marked the first step towards building a final resting place on the central coast for those who've served our nation. The completion of the impossible dream. It was such a simple thing to do, build a veteran cemetery on military property already owned by the federal government. It seemed simple. It became the mission impossible because uh, for all kinds of raw laws and regulations, they couldn't build it. The federal government couldn't build it. The state of California didn't want to build it. Uh, so we ended up starting at the bottom level and said, well, we'll do it. Representative Sam Farr was one of the many lawmakers who worked to push through red tape and help raise the multi-millions to start the project. He says securing the site where he helps eventually 100,000 veterans and their families can be laid to rest was only possible because we live in a community that won't take no for an answer. I have to tell you the most important thing is as a citizen of this area to see this dream come true for veterans in our area that they could finally find a resting place here near their home. Uh, that, that I think is the greatest reward of all. Veterans at the groundbreaking say the cemetery means finally knowing they can be laid to rest at home in a place that's played such a large role in their lives. Oh yeah, I'll be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be right out here. The cemetery is going to be built in phases. Phase one is expected to be completed in 2016. It will include an entranceway, an assembly, and a columbario that will provide a resting place for 5,000 veterans. Dan? All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Caitlin. Veterans say the total cost of phase one is more than $9 million, including more than $6 million for construction, the remainder for architecture, planning, administration, and other fees and contingencies. Some of that money raised through federal grants, the rest from very generous donors. Meantime, workers are making pro progress on the new Veterans Affairs Clinic in Marina. The building may look like just a steel skeleton. But uh, officials with the Fort Ord Reuse Authority say right now workers are in an important phase of making sure all the clinic's high-tech features are built in. They say the clinic will greatly improve the care that veterans in our community receive. This is a brand new clinic that takes advantage of how medicine is delivered today versus some of the older facilities that are still kind of converting to the way we deliver medicine and, and how we de deliver health today. Holomard says that the new facilities and a new partnership uh, the VA and the Department of Defense have been working on are all ways the system will address what they call past deficiencies. The Marina Clinic is not expected to be ready for veterans until 2016. 